Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at textures and how to add them to type and lettering. The reason why we're outside is because we're going to be doing some analog textures um, using our phone, make take a picture, and then we're going to put it onto the computer and I'll show you how to um, turn that into something you can use. So today I'm going to be using these concrete slabs. So grab your phone, find an area that hasn't got too many light and dark patches, quite an even area, make sure it's in focus, take a photo, and by the time we get back into the studio that'll be on the computer if you've got iCloud or Google Photos. Uh, open it up in Photoshop and then I'll go through the rest on the computer. So we've opened up our photo we took earlier in Photoshop and the first thing we want to do is turn it black and white. So you go to image, mode, grayscale. Then we want to bring up the levels um, because we don't want it to be grey, we want it to be as close to just plain black and white as we can. So image, uh, adjust levels or command L. I'm going to bring up the right and left sliders and this is where you decide how how much of the text you want showing through. So you want to bring all these sliders as close together as you can. As you can see if we You've got quite a dense texture there, but if we bring the lighter areas up, it's much lighter. So I think I'm happy with that. Once done, press OK. So now I'm going to show you how to remove the white background. I've done it in other videos, but I've done it a different way. I'm going to show you a different way this time. And way that um, you can also, if you record what you're doing as you're doing it, you can turn it into an action, so then all you have to do is press play. Um, once and it will do it for you. So, okay, so what we can do is um, we are going to select all, uh, Command A, or select, select all. We are going to copy that, edit copy, and then we've got, we're going to enter, uh, we're going to delete what we've got there. Actually, it's double click at that layer to make it a editable layer. Select all, delete, still selected. Press Q, which enters quick mask mode, as you can see in the channels it's popped up there. We then want to paste, uh, so edit, paste. And then as you can see, it will paste, um, it looks like it's red at the moment, it's just to demonstrate this in um, quick mask. Uh, and it will only paste the black area into that quick mask. So um, once you've done that, you want to press um, Q again to uh, room to come out of Quick Mask. Then you want to go select inverse that selection, and then just fill that area that's been in, uh, selected and inversed. Edit fill with black or the foreground color we got there. Okay, that, and then we just want to deselect select, deselect or command D. And there's our um, texture. So if I was to add uh, black and white at the moment, add a color behind there, you'll see that we can change it the color because um, the white has disappeared now. So now to show you how, you, how I apply that to my uh, type and lettering. So let's Open a new document, um, do about 3,200 pixels. Um, let's get an image as well, just to show you um, the texture, what it looks like over an image. So go to unsplash.com, oh, that looks cool enough. Paste that into a document. Okay, so let's choose some lettering. Size that. Okay. Uh, there's our lettering. So what we're going to do before we um, copy in the texture is uh, put that lettering into group. So just Command G, or we'll go to the drop down new group, and it'll group that in the layer. Um, and we want to paste that texture above that lettering. So go back to our uh, texture, select all, select, select all, Command D. 
copy, edit copy, go back to our document, and then we're going to paste. And then we just want to command T, transform that down. Okay, so now what we want to do, and this is another thing that you can set up an, um, an action for, is to uh, get this texture to knock out of the lettering layer. So how we do that is double clicking on that layer which brings up the layer style panel and we want to be on blending options which will should be as default when you double click. And we want to go to advanced blending. So two things we want to change here is the fill uh, opacity. We want to reduce that all the way down to zero. As you can see um, it's disappeared. But then we want to choose this uh, one here called knockout to shallow. What that will do okay that is it will knock everything else out below that in this group so if you had other bits of lettering as well it would knock out all the way down and it wouldn't go outside of that group if it weren't in the group it would knock out the image as well um, and also the background so you'd see um, a transparency background but if you're inside a group and it's set to shallow it will knock out the lettering below um, and as you can see it goes right up to the edge um, and if you were to uh, Add a solid fill above that group, holding down the Alt key and clipping it to that group. We can then colour that. Now to uh, have it coming in from the edge, so the texture doesn't go straight to the edge; it just stays in the middle. If we duplicate our text above um, the texture layer, as you can see, can't see the texture anymore. What we're going to do now is double click onto that layer again, bring out those blending modes. And then what we want to do is bring the fill capacity down to zero. And it shows it just like it has before. But then we want to add an inner glow. With that inner glow, it doesn't matter what colour it is because we've got a colour fill at the top, um, colouring that in. But we want to have the opacity set to 100%. Uh, want a bit of noise, so 15-16% uh, technique, uh, softer, uh, source, want it on the edge, and then uh, the choke, about 60%. This all depends on how thick your text is and how big your text is. Uh, size about 40, but you can adjust this. You know, you just want a thin line around your text, bring it in from the side, or you want a more. And then you want uh, the contour to be... Um, just straight from the bottom left hand corner to the top right. Range 100, just a zero. And as you can see, it has shows a bit of texture around the bigger areas uh, and not on the thinner areas. And there we go. That's a simple pro uh, look into my process of how I use textures within my work. So you can, you know, use all types of um, things you can take a photo of or you know, even if you just uh, put a paper down on the floor and um, got a pencil or a crayon and rubbed over it, you'd get that same sort of effect. Um, and just adds a bit of age to your uh, uh, lettering work. Any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.